Alrighty, well today we're trying to do a little bit of bass fishing, pond bass fishing, but to mix it up and not just do boring little like pond hopping mission and throw our Cinco around and catch a couple of dinks. Today we're going to try to do a one hour speed pond fishing challenge. So basically what I have in mind is I have two ponds, one down the road and one right behind my house. And I'll have one hour, only one hour to catch fish on four lures. But the twist on that is, if I chose lures, I would just choose like a little wacky rig, Cinco, finesse worm, a little swim bait or a popper or something, just easy things that I could catch fish on this time of year. So what I'm gonna do to really make this a challenge and like add difficulty to it, is I'm going to have my mom, who knows nothing about fishing or very little about fishing, choose the four lures. So I'm gonna go get like a stockpile of all different kinds of lures from Cinco's to Whopper Ploppers and I'm gonna have her choose four of those lures and I'm gonna have one hour to catch a fish on all of the lures. <laughs> Okay, well I think I got a pretty good pile of all different variations of baits, some that are gonna be easier to catch fish on in the summertime in a little pond, and some that will definitely not be as easy. So I'm gonna get my mom out here. I probably got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roughly around 15, I definitely probably counted wrong. And I'm gonna get her to choose four of these lures, and I'll tie them up, start the timer, and Start fishing. Okay, so mom, choose four of any of those that you think look cool or that you want me to use. I like this one. Oh. One. Okay. Two, super cool. Three. And so it's a topwater frog, a chatterbait, and a swim bait. Four. Okay. Okay, so here is what my mom chose. She chose probably the hardest ones, honestly. I easily could have caught a fish on this. Probably could have caught a fish on this. Fluke, Cinco. This might have been kind of hard. It's like eight inches long. I don't even know. Those would have been easy. Finesse worm, super easy. Little spinnerbait, probably. A cheap little fire tiger colored rattle trap. That might have been actually kind of hard. And a frog. Of course, there's algae in the pond behind my house. So this would have also worked. But no, she decided to choose. I mean, this right here is a frog, but it's not a popping frog. It's sort of a plastic swimming frog. And honestly, I rarely use these, like, at all. And I probably won't know how to fish it very well. But that's the whole point of the challenge. And she also chose this, like, I don't know, 7-inch swim bait. Chatterbait, like PB and J color, I think. And this little, it looks sort of like a drop shot plastic. So, I'm gonna get these four lures rigged up and I will see y'all at the first pond. Alrighty, got the GoPro on. Heading down to the first pond, which is right down there. Got all four lures that my mom picked out rigged up. Chatterbait, little paddle tail swim bait. Drop shot on a spinning reel, of course, and that crazy little topwater yellow frog just rigged weightless. And before I actually start the timer and begin the challenge, I also want to say my mom also said off camera that I should have a punishment. So if I don't catch a fish on all four lures in the one hour time period, then I have to jump into this muddy pond like off the dock and into the pond but uh i definitely don't want to do that but none of that matters anyways because i can easily catch a fish on all four of these lures in half the time so uh i guess why not start on this little point here i think i'm definitely going to start with 
the drop shot just because I don't know. Want to start with the easiest, which I'm guessing this finesse tactic is going to be the easiest. Definitely would have preferred if my mom just gave me like a trick worm and a wacky rig Cinco. Could have caught a fish on that in about three casts, but she decided to give me a drop shot. It's the middle of the summer. It's a shallow little muddy pond. So uh, I think we're gonna see how it goes. Got the exact same little minnow type bait that she picked out for me. And now that I'm right down here ready, don't have any more rigging up to do, I can officially, it's so bright out here. Here we go, under a tree. Gonna set the timer to one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds. And my phone's actually on 11%. So hopefully it has enough battery to give us the little signal whenever time is up. So let's officially begin the challenge now. There we go. One hour clock has begun. Let's see what we can get on the drop shot. What? My weight fell off. How is that even possible? I didn't even bring an extra either. Okay, well this is gonna cut back on my time. Like fourth cast, my weight flies off. Now I gotta run all the way back up to the house. Okay, well you know what? I'm just gonna grab a couple of split shots just to make this that much easier because I cannot find another drop shot weight. All right, there you go, boys. Drop shot is back in business. We are golden. Oh my gosh! Boys, we're hooked up. Oh, it's not a bad one. Oh my. Yeah. I was about to say. Come on, fish, it's a freaking drop shot. Why won't you just eat it? Get up here, don't break off. Yes. Finally got a freaking football on the drop shot. Let's see what time is it. We got 46 minutes left. All right, well, we're like 15 minutes in. Just got this probably one and a half pounder. Super fat on the drop shot. So happy to have that out of my hand. Now we can start on the three other lures. Get that guy back in the water. I think, now that I'm down with the spinning reel, I uh, think I'm actually gonna throw this chatterbait around. Alrighty, chatterbait time. I didn't even try to cheat. Didn't even put a trailer on this PB&J chatterbait. Even though I could probably use that swim bait, but I also kind of feel like this that would be cheating and I want to do this challenge right, so let's see what this thing can do. All right, you know what, boys? I think it's time to get serious. I ain't playing no games anymore. Gonna take the three lures left, chatterbait, frog, and the swim bait. We're going out in the boat. There's not a lot of bank access, just fishing from the bank. And with these moving lures, I'm gonna have to cover some water so hopefully I don't drown today got like six hundred dollars just in that backpack come on fish 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 come on yes that is fish yes I just reached my hand up to wipe some sweat. Pulled up into a largey. Chatterbait is done. Hook is in him right there. Two out of the four baits done already. There's another fish right there. Oh, just about threw raw in the water. Alrighty, well, I think I'm going to try throwing Trashy looking topwater frog just because why not? I'm gonna parallel this bank right here, throw it right on the edge of the grass line. Hope a giant comes out and swallows it. Oh. 
Yes! Oh, no! I just had one. On the yellow frog. I think that this thing is like so old and it's been sitting in a package so long. It's actually gotten really tough. And I couldn't get the hook out of this into that fish's mouth. So I'm actually going to expose the hook just a little bit. Just like that. Still weedless, but the hook is out. So whenever a fish bites that, I can set it and it'll go straight into him. I'll cast in the exact same area. Hopefully... That fish will hit it again because I don't think I'm going to get a lot more opportunities with this thing. Dang it. Alright, I'm getting nervous. What time is it? 25 minutes and 40 seconds left we are past the halfway mark got one bite on this frog and nothing else for probably the past 15 minutes Okay, you know what? This is dumb. I'm switching. I'm going to save this frog for last. I don't know why. I just can't get a fish on it. Probably because it's freaking yellow. But I'm going to pick up this more natural colored swim bait. Hopefully I can get a fish on this in the next couple minutes. And then finish out the hour. Trying my hardest with that top water. Oh gosh. 16 minutes left. Still have two lures. Can't get a fish to commit to either of them. Oh! Got him. On a swim bait. That was sick. He freaking jumped out of the water for this thing. Alright. Just check the time. Got like 15 minutes left. We're down to the little yellow frog. Little dink on the swim bait, but size does not matter. I only have to catch a fish, and that is indeed a fish. I think these fish just like, I don't understand it. I've had so many blow ups on this frog, literally right, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Get in the boat. Finally, I can't believe it. This fish struck at it twice and I was just complaining about how they won't fully go for the frog, and he blew up on it right in front of me. That was sick. Not fake. Hook is in him. I actually caught a fish on this little banana-looking top water. I can't believe it. I was honestly thinking... Oh, I just lost my shoe. I was honestly thinking that I was going to have to go swimming in this water right here. Like, what even is that? But I finally caught... This nice chunky fish. None of these fish are big by any means, but that honestly doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that they were stupid and hungry enough to eat that little yellow banana. I definitely fished that little frog for well over half this challenge. And uh, speaking of time in the challenge, let's actually see. Y'all can barely tell, but it's 3.13 and there is six minutes and 41 
seconds left in the challenge. Caught a fish on all four lures, the chatter bait, the swim bait, the banana, and the drop shot with only a few minutes left to spare. So that means I do not have to jump in this water. But just because I really want content and I know that all y'all want me to do this, uh, well.